Let's find out how Death Valley got such a terrible name. It all began back in 1849 during the gold rush days. It was, as a matter of fact, the winter of 1849 that Death Valley earned its name. At Provo, Utah, a party of prospectors set off to cross the great Sierra Nevada mountains, separating Nevada from California. With winter coming on, they took the southern route along the famous old Spanish trail to avoid getting caught in snow. But at one fork along the old trail, many settlers decided to split off the main party and head down a new trail with a new map that hadn't been tested. It would be a shortcut, and all things would work out fine, is what they suspected. Well, at first it looked good. There was grassy valleys, water for the beasts, and men alike. Lots of wild game to shoot along the way, too. But the map proved out to be a fake. It seemed like this new trail led them into a box canyon with no easy way out. All but a few remaining wagons turned back. After some searching around, the few wagons left, found a narrow way out of the canyon and thought that their troubles were over. Then a few days later, the lead wagon came to a sudden stop to spy a horrible sight that lay before them. A deep desert valley with no signs of life. Getting lost along the way, they had no choice but to cross it. As the wagons rolled down the valley floor, the air got thin and hot as an oven, up to 125 degrees on some days. Hot winds drove sand into their face like buckshot, and miles of salt flats slowed the wagons down to a crawl. By New Year's Day, they killed their oxen for food being starved, but with hardly any water around, they could hardly swallow a bite. You can guess just about the rest. Prospecting families were getting weak, too weak to go on, but two fellers figured they'd head out on a foot race with death. Without food or water, they crossed lakes of slick alkali in the boiling hot sun in total desperation. They barely stayed alive by digging up rocks and licking the bottom of them for the dampest below. After a living nightmare lasting 14 days, the two crossed the desert mountains and found help at a cattle ranch. Hoping to save their friends before they starved, they borrowed some horses, loaded them with food and water, and finally reached the camp. There seemed to be no signs of life. As they looked around, they discovered that the wagon party was laying underneath the wagons to keep out of the hot sun. Many of the party were saved, but still, Death Valley got its name. Thirteen had died of thirst. The odd thing was that right under their feet lay a future financial discovery, a deposit of mineral called borax. It was found on the valley floor. Sometime later, thousands of dollars were made by being hauled out by teams of mule. It took 20 mules to pull a wagon load at 24,000 pounds through that soft salt sand. Along with borax, silver was discovered in the nearby hills, but the place was so inhabitable that the name remained to this day, Death Valley. Did you know that in the Bible there's mention of a sort of Death Valley? It's called the Valley of Hinnom, or better known as Gehenna. The deep, narrow, steep, rocky valley is located south and west of Jerusalem, separating Mount Zion. The history of this valley is just about as tragic as the Death Valley story that I just shared with you. In fact, more tragic. Believe it or not, King Solomon erected the first false temple in this valley to a heathen god called Moloch. Eventually, children were sacrificed to that heathen god. And for years, the place was on fire from all the city's garbage being burned night and day with its awful smell. Jesus referred to the place of those who die in sin as going to a place like that, 
where according to Matthew 13, 50, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, the flames of fire torment night and day. How would you like to go to a place like that? Well, Jesus was either a liar or he told the truth. I choose to believe he told the truth. He came to rescue us from an eternal fate like hell and to give us eternal life in heaven instead. What would you like to choose? Well, you need to receive the blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God, to take away our sins and to give us eternal life. You don't have to fear hell if you're trusting Jesus to save you. Stay close to his side and try to rescue as many people around you that are heading the wrong direction. Ask them to trust Jesus like you. Oh, one last warning. Watch out for the devil's fake maps. They look good, but you'll end up in Death Valley.